and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to be another Walmart video. So today I'm going to be going in to my local Walmart and I'm going to see what winter clothes they have out. I did recently do a at home winter try on with the clothes I already own. But this time around I'm going in store to see if they have anything new. I have been going to Walmart quite often recently and I keep on seeing that they keep on pulling out a lot more winter clothes so I'm going to try to piece together as many outfits as possible for you guys. Sometimes it can be a little complicated just because depending on who the person is at the fitting room sometimes they let me take in seven items sometimes they only let me take in five items at a time so hopefully there's someone there that will let me take in quite a few items at a time but like I said I'm gonna try to get as many cute outfits as possible for you guys and then I will also link everything down below if I can find it because I always tell you guys things in store is not always online especially if it's on like clearance or on sales so if I can find it I will link it down below depending on what I try on so let's go ahead and head into Walmart so for outfit number one this is what I have pieced together for you guys so I have a long sleeve black turtleneck and had these really cute buttons on the arm part that I think matched really well with the skirt that I was wearing and this shirt is the brand time and true and then I have this pencil skirt on. It's just a leopard pencil skirt. It was the brand of Sofia Vergara. And I've never tried anything on from her line. Every time I would try to look for something in my size, I could never find it or I just couldn't find her line at Walmart. And I found this skirt on a random little rack. I'm not sure how much they were, but like I said, I'm gonna try to find everything and link it down below for you guys. So outfit number two for you guys is another skirt and long sleeve. So this skirt was the Time and True brand and I thought it was really cute. They had a few different colors and designs you can choose from and then I just paired it with this long sleeve. It is a turtleneck but it's not as thick as the last turtleneck and this one is the No Boundaries brand and they also had this long sleeve in a few different colors as well and I thought this was a really cute outfit. You can wear it to church or brunch or just to run some errands if you want to dress up. I just thought this was a really cute and comfy outfit. Next is going to be this outfit. I would call this like my mom outfit. I had some jeans. I've never heard of this brand. It's called Scoop. Like I said, I've never seen this brand at Walmart, but it was on clearance for $9. Now I do think that these jeans do run big. I tried on a size four, which is usually my size, but for some reason it was pretty big on me. And like I said, I'm usually a size four, but these were big. So I do feel like they run big, but they were a really cute pair of jeans. And then I just paired it with this time and true sweater top it was just like that leopard cheetah print in gray and black I did end up buying this sweater because I loved it it was so soft and cozy and I did tuck it in the pants a little bit in the front but like I said this is a typical mom outfit I would wear to go run errands Next outfit is probably one of my favorite ones, and it is this outfit. I am wearing a pair of leggings. It did come in a pack of two. It was a Time and True brand, and this isn't like the cotton material. It was a winter pair of leggings that's going to keep you nice and warm. Then I just paired it with this long sleeve Time and True top, and they had this also in a few different colors. I chose to put the black shirt on because I wanted to wear like all black with this white little Time and True furry vest. They also had this vest, I believe, in black, but I love it. It was super soft and I feel like you can pair it up with so much stuff you don't have to wear it with like leggings I am going to show you guys how it looks with jeans you can wear it with jeans or a skirt you can definitely use this vest in so many different ways so I want to show you guys how this white furry vest would look with a pair of jeans. I kept on the same black shirt and white vest and just put on these Sofia Vergara jeans. And it's just a light washed pair of denim jeans. And it does have a little bit of distressing. And they were super comfortable. Loved them. But I want to show you guys how cute it looked with a pair of jeans as well. Not just like leggings. Next, I kept on same shirt, same jeans. I just switched out the jacket. So I am wearing this leopard jacket. It is the No Boundaries brand. I think they had one other, one or two other colors and designs, but I decided to show you guys the leopard one just because I know leopard right now is in style. It was super warm and super cozy, and I believe I am wearing mine in a size medium.
So for the next few outfits, I'll be keeping on the Sofia Vergara jeans. I'm just switching out the tops. So this is a sweater top. It was the No Boundaries brand. They also had this in a few different colors, and this was by far the softest top I tried on out of everything. I'm telling you guys, it was so soft. It's going to keep you super cozy. And like I said, it did come in a few different colors. Next is going to be this knitted sweater top, and I believe this was the Time and True brand, and this also came in a few different colors as well. Now, it does have a few like little holes since it is knitted, so if it is super cold where you live, I would just suggest maybe putting like a little tank or cami underneath, and then you'll be fine, but I loved it, and like I said, there was a lot of different colors that you could choose from, and I like to tuck in my shirt, so I did tuck it in a little bit in the front. I thought it would be festive and try on one or two Christmas style sweaters. So I love this Christmas movie, The Elf, and I found this sweater super cute. This was in a size medium and it does light up. I didn't want to press the little light up button because I obviously don't want to kill the battery, but this was a really cute Christmas sweater. And the last Christmas sweater I want to try on for you guys is this sweater. It was like a baby pink and it had a little reindeer. And this sweater was also super cozy and warm. It had a few little bells where the antlers were. And I just thought it was really cute. I would totally wear this not only to like a Christmas party. I would just wear it just to be festive, run errands during December. Like I said, it was really warm. And I think they also had this in a white color, but it wasn't a reindeer. It might have been like a little polar bear, but it was super cute and very comfy. So since I did have it tucked in the front, I want to untuck it really quickly just to show you guys the length. This was a size medium and I think it had a pretty good length to it. All right guys, so I'm obviously now back home, but I don't have an outro for this video because I do this every time I do an in-store try-on. I will film an intro in the car, but when it comes to filming an outro, I will completely forget and I will drive off and go home. And then I don't realize it until I'm actually editing the video that I don't have an outro. So. This video had no outro, so I want to jump on here really quickly to say thank you so much for watching today's Walmart winter outfit try-on. I tried my very best to get as many outfits put together for you guys, but like I said, it is a little hard just because they only let you bring in six items at a time. And a lot of times I like to mix and match things, and that's hard when I have to keep on going in and out, in and out, trying to grab and switch things. So hopefully I was still able to give you guys some really cute outfits from Walmart. Now it's crazy because the Walmart that I went to had so many items that the other location just does not have that I've never seen. The one that I did my activewear in-store try on, they didn't have half the stuff that I saw at this location. They had so much and I really wish I could have tried on a lot more for you guys because I'm telling you they had so many really cute clothes. But like I said, I am kind of limited when it comes to trying on outfits. But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Walmart in-store try on. I'll try my very best to link everything down below for you guys. If I can find it online, then I will link it. If it's not linked down below, that is because I either just could not find it after searching for a while or it just was not available online. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm thinking about maybe doing another in-store try-on, either at Target or TJ Maxx, like another winter style um, try-on. So if you guys would like me to do that, vote on what store you guys would like me to go to. Like I said, it's in between Target or TJ Maxx. And whichever one gets the most votes, then I will go ahead and film that for you guys soon. I also hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. I have a ton more holiday-related videos that will be coming out very soon. So make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss out on any of my Vlogmas videos that I plan on doing this year. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.